right guys, we're back. I got another product here today. Got the Network Cable Tester NF8209. This thing usually retails for $56. I was given this to my father-in-law. I was like, oh cool, another network tester. I'm gonna do a video on it. So I'm excited. This one's gonna get, I think it's way better than what I have already. I mean, mine's just a basic one, but hey, it worked and I tested it right. But this one has more capabilities. It can test cable length and all the goodness. So let's get right into the unboxing. All right guys, let's open this up. Feels like when I put my hand in there, it feels like it comes with a case. That'd be cool. Oh, yep, it does. Or it is in the case. Yep, that comes in the case. Oh, that's cool. All right. We got the battery for it. Comes with the battery. Obviously, you can get better one, but at least it comes with one. Little instructions manual. Oh, does it connect to Wi-Fi too? Analog mode, PoE mode, digital mode. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of different stuff to this let's see if i can fire it up before i really get into it because there's looks like there's a lot of stuff with it everything's wrapped up that's nice comes with another set of batteries some of these batteries are probably for this this is probably for this i'm guessing and this oh it even has a little thing for the batteries interesting this goes here oh a little hearing aid thing so you can hear it if you need to put it in your ear probably won't need to do that maybe it's if you're out of business and you don't want to hear that oh it comes with jumpers little ethernet cables Probably to, so you can wire test too, so that's pretty cool. If I can get, oh, if it just comes out, I guess. Oh, this phone, isn't that a phone? Yeah, this is phone. Yeah, that's phone. Okay, I won't need really to do that. Another little phone jumper, so I guess you can jump and pinch the cables and test the continuity if they're live or whatever you're doing. If you're getting signal out of them, which cable you're trying to find. Or test shorts or whatever. We'll have to see what this thing can do. Oh, here's the little adapter piece. Don't know if you need batteries for this or not. Look, doesn't look like you do. But who knows? Yeah, this doesn't feel like you put batteries in it. Wire map. Interesting. I'll try for that. Okay. Oh, yep. There's the three batteries go. Oh, no. The big one goes in there. Oh, I was wrong. This is where the big one goes. So, let's see here. Oh, maybe I should take it out of the wrapper. That would help. <laughs> okay, well, when I get this open, I'll be back in. All right, we're back. Let's put this in now. Okay. You know what? That way feels better. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, it was. Oh no, that was good. Oh yeah, there, oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get that to fit in there better. I know it fits, but I don't like the way it fits because it just popped right out. Let's see. So that's like this. So if we go that way, it pushes up against it. Can't go that way. I guess you just go like, okay, that, I guess that way fits better. Huh. Doesn't want to go in there for some reason. Well, this is why we unbox these things. That way it should go in fine. Does it work still? Yeah. There we go. We got it. Analog VC digital, okay. That's for probably the test. Yeah, oh, is that just the flashlight? Yep, just the flashlight right there. Cool beans. 
If I hold it, does it turn it off? Yep, it does. Perfect. Guess that right out the bat. I mean, that's common knowledge with things. If it has one button, doesn't have an off button, and it doesn't turn off with another press, you hold it. Let's see these other batteries now. As I drop them all over. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, all the batteries are in. There we go. Is this a, a peeler thing? Let's see. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so let's, is there a screen protector on this? Yep, of course there is. Take that off. All right, oh, we got an ethernet jumper too, so it comes with an ethernet one too. Power it on. Okay, maybe the battery, oh, there he goes, welcome. Oh, that's cool, length scan, so if I move over, is that, okay. So let's just scan to see if it's damaged, that's what I'm guessing that is. Sorry, the, there we go, I'm gonna scan it right here. So let's just test, let me get another cable. It'd be funny, well, I think I might test their cable. That's PoE, length, and fault. So this one, so on the back here, if you turn it this way, sorry, PoE length and fault. A uh, flash, sorry, length, flash, and PoE. So let's try the length and the fault. Guessing that goes in there. Uh, there we go. Let's try it. How do you select? I guess okay. Okay. See how long that takes. That's the flashlight and it lights up the screen on this one. Oh, connection and scan, so it does on that side too. Okay, cool. Let me find the instructions, let me go over this and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. I've been going over it for a while now and I've understand everything that it does now. So let's power it on. So for connectivity, you can check to see if the cable's good. All you gotta do is get your, well I should just left it in there, but plug one into the little adapter here. And then we plug this end into the connect part. Then we'll hit okay. And then cat five, cat six, cat six a test, hit okay. Perfect, the cable's good. It would have cross sections if it wasn't. It would show different items what's messed up. If it's a grounded cable, it'll have a G here for grounded. So yeah, now we'll go to the next part of it. We can do the power, so scan. So we'll go back, back again, we'll get the scan. So we'll get our scan tool. Turn it on. So as you're getting close to it, it definitely works. And then you can adjust the different modes. So we got analog, won't work. Want to test analog. The PoE, and then if we go. There's no PV in here. There you go. So yeah, it works with everything. I usually like to use PoE on. Let's see, not that one. Do that too. But let's go to PoE. Go back to. Because certain cables only do PoE, so it's detecting the certain cable that's doing it, depending on where it is. See. In the wine. So next you can go to digital mode. And it has two different kind of sounds. You have the beeping 
the analog, you can do that. But either way, it's just finding the cable, basically. The cool thing is, though, if you plan it to NCV, uh, you can check power. So if you have, like, power, you can check your power. So you know if it were a light switch or whatever, you can touch into it. So it's pretty dang cool. So next, let's do... Turn this off. Pulling the button turns it off. They do have the headphone jack here. This is a, let me turn it on first, it would help. It's a flashlight. Turn this off. So next, what we can test on this, let's go back to the main menu. It does have a light here too, so you can't adjust the light here. Um, let's take this out. And we can do cable length. So what you do for the cable length is you put it in the length port. Let me turn the flashlight off, that would help. Length. So we'll put that in. The only thing about the length port, and I think it's in here, this port here. If I remember, back to length. Cat 5, we could again Cat 6, is Cat 5, so we'll go Cat 5, down test. I think. I did it in the right port. I think it's in the... Yep, there it is. It'll show your length. The only thing that kind of sucks about this is you have to have two ends on the cable already. And... Because I've tried it without it. And you have to be able to close proximity for it. So, if you're on one end of the building and you want to test the length or you have a whole spool, you're going to have to plug both of them in. But, I mean, like, you already know if it's a brand new spool that you're getting... You know, a thousand feet, a thousand feet. Otherwise, if you think you're getting gypped. But, I mean, that's the only thing with the cable. But, I mean, too bad you couldn't just do it from just one end and put this adapter at the other end and then test it. But, nope, it doesn't work that way on this. So, now we'll go back. And here's the other cool thing we can do. We can check the PoE and connectivity. So, if we open the switch in the back here, go back again. We're going to go to put it in the switch. Then we'll go to flash. It is in the flash port. Hit OK. Give it a minute here as it's going. There it is. 100 megabits, so one gig connection, FDX, testing, it's, it works great. So you can tell what kind of port speed you're getting. So now, we'll do the PoE next. I will put, this is into my PoE switch. This is into a PoE Plus port. So now we'll go to test. Oh, we got to put it in the PoE port, that would help. There we go. Test. There it is. AT shows what the speed is going at. But it's pretty dang cool what cables pairs are being used. Now I'll plug it into a uh, PoE++ port so you guys can uh, see the difference here. We'll get plug that into the PoE++ port. Be right back. All right, guys, now we got it in the PoE++ port. So I'll plug this back in here and run the test again. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Now that's in the PoE++ port now. So, now I'll get back to my final results. Let's get back into the video. 
because the settings tab I would show it to you guys but I mean all it have is language English backlight brightness um, and then on and off timer for the display screen that's it and then it has the um, contrast and the version that's it I have there's no way to update the version but yeah that's what it is yeah a little tester here cool ports right there connect scan PoE length and flash and then the little adapter here and then the finder tool but let's get back in the final results Sorry, I had to ramble there, but I wanted to make sure he went over the settings with you guys. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so that was the NF8209 cable tester. Works great. I would recommend it for anyone that wants the cable test. Obviously, it only does one gigabit. That's all it has, but hey, it works great. No problems with it. So if you need a good cable tester that can do multiple different tests, I would recommend this one. Hey, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a rock and rolling day.